Hello and welcome back to my channel, y'all. It's your girl Vicky here, and I'm so excited to film this video. If you haven't watched already, go and watch part one of how I started my business, my beauty vending machine business, because today's video is part two. Y'all have been asking me for part two in the comments of part one and DMing me, so I'm so excited to finally make this video. Um, Y'all asked me so many great questions that I didn't even think about um, in part one. So I'm so excited to touch base on all of those questions that you guys asked me. Thank y'all to everybody. I've got so much support, honestly, on last video. Um, the numbers are still going up. I'm so grateful for everybody that watched that video and DM me on Instagram, more questions. So many supporters wanted to just pick my brain and just get some more information from me and i absolutely do not mind doing that so thank y'all for dming me and leaving comments down below on my first video so i don't really want to waste no time because last video was pretty long i just want to jump right into this video so we can get all the information out so in today's video i'm answering all of your questions no more and no less everything that the people would like to know um, i'm going to be answering today so I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm going to the comments of my old video just so I can get everybody's um, questions out. One of um, the comments that was left was, can you elaborate more on how to get a definite yes to a location? Sure. <laughs> so I really didn't even um, ask a lot of people. I had my heart fixated on being in the mall, so I literally just asked them. They said that they never heard of anything like this before, um, and they just said, yeah, there really wasn't much more that I did, unfortunately. I would think there is a way to get a definite yes. Basically, you're just telling them what you're trying to do. This is your business. You're trying to make some money, and essentially, because your um, vending machine will be in their establishment, they can essentially get some money. So if they don't want to hop on that and if they don't see the vision, they don't see the dream, like it's too bad for them. So there's really not a particular way to get a definite yes other than making sure that you have all of your information, making sure that you have your vending machine ready because they will quickly replace your vending machine if you're still waiting on it to be shipped or whatever the case may be. So I would say the best way to make sure that you have a definite yes is just to make sure that you have all of your ducks in order like make sure that you're good and yeah there shouldn't be a reason why they would say no if you have everything that you need a lot of people ask me to sell my vendors information i never even thought of doing that until you guys suggested it suggested it when i was actually looking for a vendor um someone who also did a beauty vending machine prior to had a um, like a selling site where she would sell all of the vendor information, places where she got everything, and she was selling it for about $500. And then I thought that was OD, but if you look at it in hindsight, this is something that can give you basically an immense amount of money, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like an investment. So by her selling all of her information for $500, she was able to start so many people businesses and $500 was chump change compared to what they made. I haven't even really get, gave it any thought on if I wanted to sell um, my vendor information to you guys. If I do, then I will let you know. If you are interested, just DM me on my Instagram, which is right here, and all of my information is also down below. So I still don't know about that yet, but a lot of people have asked me if I could sell my information to them, so that's just a maybe. I don't know yet. I know you, this is another question um, by Ashley Brooks. She commented on my last video. She said, I know you can't disclose your rental fee, but can you share what's too much? I had two malls charge me $500 or more, and some malls want a percentage of sales. Thanks for the vid. Thank you for watching the video. Thanks for leaving a comment. So, um, I wish my rent was $500. And I'm being real. I did something idiotic where I hopped on the first offer instead of looking around. And that's why I'm making these videos so you guys cannot be like me. <laughs> you guys could actually like do more research. 
What she did was add several malls and that price wasn't good for her, so she did. My price is way over at $500 threshold. It's actually $800. And I absolutely hate it. So um, I'm right now currently looking to put my vending machine in a different location because I don't really like that rental fee. Um, I kind of oversold myself in the beginning, which you should not do. Um, so I want my money. <laughs> like I'm just gonna be super transparent. You really wanna try to hold on to all the money that you're making, all that hard work that you did. So having such a high rental fee from a mall is honestly a lot of freaking money. So I would just encourage you to continue to look around um, try to crush your numbers on the price of the items that you're going to have in there and what you project like your sales to be. You really don't know until you're in there, unfortunately. So I think $500 is too bad. It depends. It's all contingent on exactly what you're selling, how much you're selling it for, because you can make $500 in a few weeks. Um, but I would just suggest try to find a location that you feel like you have a lot of foot traffic. A lot of people can come and purchase from you, um, but the rent is not too much. So that's more so just research that you would have to do just so you don't be stuck in a situation like me. I just said yes to my first offer and the price was ridiculous. Um, so just do your research in that case. So you do not get stuck in like a really, really high monthly fee. And you get to basically keep all the money that you are making. You want to, you know, live off of the coin that you've created. Next question is by T. Erica Thomas. She asked me, would you look for a place to put your machine first before buying the machine? So you have a direct location to ship to and what licenses did you get? So I'm first gonna answer the licenses question. So the license that I had to get was an LLC. You can go to, you can literally just Google LLC and you can sign up and get your LLC online. I spent $200 on my LLC and it took about maybe a day or two to get it approved. You can expedite the timing of how fast you need your LLC approved because they have different options listed of the like delivery they consider it of your LLC certificate. So I got mine in about like a day or two and I spent about $200 on it. But yeah, you can just literally Google LLC. I'll leave the website that I got my LLC on down below because it honestly was a reputable place and it was super easy to do. Um, for the second question, would you look for a place to put your machine first? I would say yes, finding your location first is super important that way when you ship it it goes right there you don't really want to put it into another place like your home it's going to be super hard to put a vending machine through your front door like to be completely honest so you want it to already be in the place that you're going to have your machine um that way you don't have to transport it a lot you're already paying for delivery once you don't want to continue to keep paying for delivery to get it sent from storage to the place from your house to the place you don't want to do all that you just want it to be shipped there so I would suggest already having the place that you need, but I also um, let her know, um, <clears throat> make sure that you cover all bases before your um, machine is shipped. You wanna make sure that, so I already answered her question in the comments, but I told her I will elaborate more about uh, would you look for a place prior to sending it to ship. Um, I basically just said, I would recommend finding your location first, but make sure that your um, well taken care of, all bases are covered on the machine and it's close to getting shipped. There could be delays or setbacks with shipping and you don't want your location to get rid of your spot waiting for your machine to come. So timing is everything. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I would recommend. So it's really difficult to kind of just like, I would try to talk to them first, see their pricing and stuff like that. Talk to the location that you're interested in, get their pricing, see how much they would charge monthly, see where your spot would be. If everything is good, get it shipped. Get it shipped. Like the faster you move, the better, because that's what I did. And they tried to play me by squeezing in another machine, but you know, it all worked out. So make sure that you have everything set. That's all I could recommend, just so they don't take your spot. Um, not even necessarily everybody gonna take a spot, but just in case, that's what they did to me. 
So another uh, supporter actually DM'd me um, and I was so excited to get her DMs. She basically said that my video super was super inspiring to her, which was so sweet to say. So thank you so much for following me and um, watching the video. She basically just asked that she was starting her beauty vending machine, but she wanted to have bundles, lashes, bonnets, edge control, like a mini beauty supply store. And did I think that that was too much starting off? She wasn't sure to, how to find vendors for all these products and she didn't want to go over her head. Everything that she said was super valid and I basically just advised her that I do not think that's a lot at all. I'm just going to read what I wrote her as well. I said, I don't think that's a lot at all. People love options and the more the better, honestly. I started off with just lashes and glues and I wish I would have added more sooner. I feel like those are the essential products. Those are super essential products and people would especially love to buy them. Um, I would check Alibaba to find vendors like I recommended in the first video for everything just to get pricing and see what to offer. Um, she also said, <clears throat> um, did I have to create my own contract and did I have to have insurance? So super good questions that I wanted to cover in part two. So they actually set up the contract um, I signed a pawn, like basically agreeing on like the monthly rate and stuff like that. I did also have to have insurance. However, insurance is actually super affordable. I only spend about $30 a month on insurance. This is the insurance that I use. I'll also send a link down below. It was super easy to find insurance. That was actually the last thing that I got because I was just about to get my machine put into the mall and they said, well, do you have insurance on it? And I said, uh, no. Um, and they said, well, you can't put it in without the insurance. So I started to scramble. I got so nervous. I was like, oh my God, I don't, like I have nothing more to give, but like now you want insurance. So I ended up literally just Googling um, the insurance that I needed. So many places popped up. And so many people helped me. I made a few phone calls and I got the insurance. It was only $30 a month that I paid, which is amazingly affordable. So do not worry about like the insurance aspect of it because you know, that's, that's light. <laughs> so yes, I did have to get insurance and they did provide the contract. Now, if they do not provide a contract, I would recommend writing one up. If this is just like a smaller place, like if you're just putting it in someone's business that does hair, like a hair salon, write up a contract, write up that they're agreeing to have your vending machine inside of their establishment for X amount each month and whatever the case may be. Yeah, absolutely write up a contract if they do not have one already written up for you. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video i appreciate the love so much that i received on part one so make sure that y'all run it up here on part two as well i would love to take you guys to the machine with me to show you guys how i restock it how it was programmed everything like that so if you like all that techie stuff and all the stuff about um video machines i can make this a series just let me know down below what you are interested in and i will definitely get it cracking you should also check out my other videos that i have down below I did a review on this hair, this beautiful hair. So make sure that you guys check it out because I'm gonna give you guys all the information that you need on this hair. And yeah, I love y'all so much. You have no idea. And thank you so much for the support. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram because I need to bring that Instagram up. That Instagram needs to go up. <laughs> thank you guys and have a good one. See you in my next one. Bye.